If you pee, do you use water gun? <laughs> what? But then your no, poop will stuck on the train, you know? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Gary and I'm your I-C-E-K-O-L The one sitting on the very far left of me is Aggie and the one sitting next to me here is Catherine And today we're gonna talk about the most unimportant thing but also the most important thing, toilet Why are we talking about toilet today? Because I am from Indonesia and this is the one thing that is still shocking to me even after living here for 5 years I'm going to start first by showing a typical Hong Kong toilet to them. So if you could see this picture here, which I got from Google five minutes ago, mm -hmm. it's a toilet in K11 Musea. And you can see that it's a pretty okay toilet, but do you recognize anything wrong in it? Because <laughs> you can hear here, there's some very important element missing. What do you mean? Toilet paper, a eh? sensitizer, no, the bin. This is the problem here, you know, Hong Kong people. You don't have water guns here. No. You actually yeah. use toilet paper. Why would you use that? Why would you use toilet paper to wipe your, your thing? <laughs> Just say Okay, it. when you wipe your ass, <laughs> don't you feel disgusted seeing the brown thing on your toilet, on your tissue paper? No, but then you will fold it and then yeah. you throw it away. And then yeah. you keep getting more paper. <laughs> is it not going to stick to your fingers? No. No. How is it? Depends not? on the quality of paper. And also depends on your poop. Because if your poop is <laughs> watery, and then it will, you know, your paper will be. I'm not sure that this is allowed to be <laughs> online, but can you repeat that again? So if the poop is watery, how are you gonna? Clean and then that? your the paper is gonna be very dirty on the other side. That it is supposed that you don't have any contact with your poop, you know. And then if you fold it, and then you don't have any contact. Why do you use water? Because then it's going to be wet and you have to wipe it again. <laughs> then why don't we just wipe it? <laughs> like if you just wash, if you just eat, right? Your your plates are dirty. Do you not wash it with water first before you wipe it? It's the same thing, right? You just excrete it. And you have to switch between your left hand and right hand. Yeah, so and then the gun people, is dirty Yeah, the well. gun is dirty. How do you know the gun is dirty? Why is the gun dirty? Don't you wash your bathroom? I mean, don't you like rinse? But then in a public toilet, yeah. you share with other people. You use the same water gun where she just touch her, you know, body part and yeah. then use the same Okay, gun. perhaps for public toilet, it makes sense. But what if it's in a, you know, like K11 Musea, where it's like, of course, it's maintained the cleanliness. <laughs> no, it's dirty. No. So you agree that it actually makes sense to use water gun because it rinses your butt. Then bring your own gun. <laughs> bring my own gun. Yeah. Okay, this is a fun fact. Then you just simply connect with the water pump. You know. No, you can't do that. So this is another type of toilet that we have back home. What is this? So, the so that's water. Oh, so to wash your so exactly. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> How would you use this to? Okay, let's say you squat that you poop. How would well, you use? I, when you use the gun, do you take off your pants? Like entirely? Yes. Like, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, you so did. So much yeah. work. Wow. The reason why you remove your pants is because it's easy for you to do this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you are opening your tie your, your gap and then your tie gap and then you okay you spray it so imagine this is the toilet also it directly go down to exactly the exactly okay. so well, are you thinking that we we are squatting somewhere else but how about the water over here how are you gonna wash it with this so that's the question how are you gonna do it but it's quite hard because if you scoop the water, if you put it here, then it won't reach. Yeah. <laughs> it will go to the back and... Uh -huh. If you go from here, and it, and it will go down. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to reach. So you have to like this, <laughs> <laughs> and the water will go out. <laughs> okay, there is no universal correct way to do this. It depends on your habit and your skills. Um, and the, skills. Yeah, and your skills. Okay, I personally do it from the front. Front? Yeah. Like, it's the same because the water gun comes from the front, right? Uh, huh? Really? Yeah. Oh, from, oh. No, you oh, use the water they gun from the back. I thought they did it no, like this no, because they do... wash it from the back. If you, do the, if you do it like that, then the, the water will spray out, right? <laughs> Isn't that common sense if you do it from the back? No, but the, the, the direction is go... still going up, you know, to your No, the thing is, direction, the thing you is, know? you have a... You can lean on it, right? You can lean on okay. the toilet. So yeah. how are you going to insert the water gun from the back 
insert. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, that's the wrong word to use. It. It's the wrong word to use it. But the uh, the thing is, it doesn't make sense to put it on the back. It, it's not feasible. When you do it on the front, it's the same case. What about the tissue paper? Tissue paper, for sure. Yeah, tissue paper. Yeah. Yeah, I just want. I just wonder, like, if you don't have tissue paper, then your pants will be wet. Yeah. From the toilet when you walk out from the toilet. That is true. That is true. But you have some ways to dry it. How? <laughs> this is like, so embarrassing, though. This is so embarrassing. How? Are you gonna <laughs> shake? <laughs> like, Fan and you just oh yeah, the, the no, warmer no, no. outside okay, okay. for the hands. You can do it. For the shaking part is partly true. Multifunctional. <laughs> the, the shaking part is partly true. That's how we some. Yeah. Okay. You mean for guys or like both? For me personally, I don't know how other people do it, but okay. me. Why am I refilling so much about my toilet <laughs> habit? <laughs> but for me, it will be a shaking. Shaking. It's like how you shake how you shake your umbrella after it's raining. <laughs> <Just like, laughs> It's the, same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. How you shake your umbrella after? after so you will you be too lazy that you don't want to wipe it with tissue so that you shake it. If there is if there is no tissue paper. If, if there, there is tissue paper, I'll wipe. Inevitably, when you do it the first time, it will splash everywhere. It will get wet, but that's part of the learning, and you'll enjoy it in the end. And you'll realize that it's refreshing for your butt. Refreshing. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. so thank you so much for listening to this. Perhaps the most we we perhaps have wasted <laughs> your time, but I hope it's a good fun. And there's one reason why I say it's one of the most important things as well. It's because even a topic like this, like toilet, you can have very different perspectives in terms of how you approach it. And I guess for you, the the thing is you need to be able to understand from different perspectives. And that's how we can basically be friends with our people from other countries. Suddenly it becomes super serious but this is the point of our video so thank you so much we do the kol thing again if you like this video <laughs> give, give the what thumbs up the thumbs up or you can click the red button in the button there's the a thing. bell here yeah, there's a bell <laughs> to subscribe mm. yeah. thank you and see you next time <laughs>